Hey, JNM again with a new Blender video for the current experimental 2.81 version. In this one, I want to show you how you can use the Polybuild tool now for retopology thanks to Pablo Dubarro. Let's have a look at this. I again use this sculpted head that I once used for the retopo flow tutorial. First, we have to add an object that we want to use as the retopo mesh. So I add a plane. Then I go to edit mode and select one vertex. This one, then I press Ctrl and I to invert the selection. And then I press the Del key to delete the selected vertices. And now I have just one vertex that I can snap to the head. I select Snapping to Faces. And now I can go to the Edit mode, press the G key and move the vertex over the head so that it is snapped to the surface. Okay, I want to start with quads, so I extrude new vertices, I press the E key, and of course these new vertices are also snapped to the surface of the head. Okay, now I select these vertices and then I press the F key to fill them. It's a bit hard to see the geometry that we added, so I go here to the viewport shading and select color object. It's still hard to see because it's gray, but here on the tab for the object you can define viewport display settings. So I choose in front and set the color to a blue or let's say a green tone. All right, I start with this quad snap to the head and what I also want to do is to use a mirror modifier so that I can add geometry on the left and the right side of the X axis at the same time. Also be sure to have clipping enabled so that vertices can't be moved through the mirror planes. And this is now the starting point for the retopology. You can move around the vertices, they are snapped to the head. And then you can use the new feature, the Polybuild tool to do retopology. So I select it. And when you hover over the surface, you can see that an edge is highlighted in a blue color. And this indicates that we can extrude the edge. And we can also move around the vertices or create new topology. But before we do this, let me go to the tool settings for the Polybuild tool and be sure to have Auto Merge enabled. I increased the threshold a bit, I set it to 0.03. Perhaps this is a bit too high, but I want to be sure that vertices that are in this distance will be merged. You will see this in a moment. Okay, you can still move around the vertices, they are snapped. And when you click somewhere, and you have this edge highlighted, you can see that new quads are created. When you hold the left mouse button down, you can adjust the position and also snap them again to the surface. And when you want to create a new quad from this vertex, here in the corner, you just hold the Ctrl key pressed, then you drag out this vertex, and with that you add a new quad. When there is an edge highlighted and you press the Ctrl key, you drag out a triangle, and when you do this again then for this edge, you turn the triangle into a quad. Always keep in mind, and it takes a while to get used to it, when you drag a vertex, be sure to release the control key so that the vertex is again snapped to the surface. It sounds complicated, but it isn't. Play around with it about 5 minutes and you will love it. I promise. I speed this up now a bit while I'm adding new topology. You see that the vertices are clipped at the center because of the clipping feature of the mirror modifier. And what you can do as well is to remove edges or faces, you just hover over these and press the shift key and when you click you remove these highlighted parts. It's a great addition in my opinion and I say thanks a lot Pablo for adding this and I guess there will be more features added to the Polybuild in the future. Okay, there's one more thing that I want to show you in this video and this is when you go to Sculpt mode, you can use the Grab brush and drag around the vertices of the Retopo mesh. And as you can see, the vertices are still snapped to the head. And with that, you can kind of relax the topology of the mesh. You can also hold the Shift key down and with a low intensity of the brush, you can smooth the Retopo mesh, also a technique to relax the topology. Okay, in the end I want to show you a few other tricks. For example, the selection while you have the Polybuild enabled. When you go to Edit Preferences, you can use Right Select instead of Left Select. 
You find this here in the key map. And now in edit mode, you can choose edge selection. And with this option, you are able to select edges with the right mouse button and drag them over the surface. Of course, you can also switch to face selection and then you can drag the faces. Or you select a face and then you press the R key and then you can rotate it. Or if you would like to scale the face, then you just press the S key and move the mouse. Another tool that you can use while you have the poly build enabled is the knife tool. You press the K key to activate it and then you can cut into the geometry. This can also be very useful. I go back here to the vertex selection so that I can see where I have to add cuts using the knife tool. And what you can do as well is to select or remove edge loops. I switch again to edge selection, then I hold the Alt key pressed and select this edge loop and then I press Ctrl and X to remove it. To insert edge loops, you can use the default shortcut Ctrl and R and then you hover over the mesh and click to insert. Okay guys, I recommend to get the latest experimental build, the 2.81 version. You can get it from this page here. Just get this build from time to time and have a look at the latest features and I will also come up with new videos when new interesting features are available. So guys, I hope you liked this short tutorial. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel to JNM, stay tuned. And if you have any questions or wishes for new tutorials, then just add these to the comments below. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support and I see you in the next one.